Tags are a great way of adding a tremendous amount of additional information to your digital twin. And creating new or editing existing tags couldn't be any easier. Let's go ahead and check out this model. I'm in the edit mode of this model and I'll come over here to the tags tool. And you can see I've got a bunch of tags already, but let's go ahead and create a new one, add tag. And I've got multiple layers in this case, so I can choose to which layer I wanna add this. I'm not gonna get into layers and views in this video. If you wanna know more about that, check out this video up here in the corner. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this tag. So I'll just move it wherever I want. You can see it's got this kind of bright circle around the base of the tag and that is the underlying mesh. And the tag has to stick to the underlying 3D mesh of this model. So that's what you're seeing in this brighter circle. So let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and put the tag right over here. And now it's really just a matter of populating these fields. So up here I have a title. So I'm gonna say sign, I'll give it a description. I can add a link right here. So if I want to create this as a link, I can just highlight the word. It can be any words. I can add almost as many links as I want. If I've got a whole paragraph worth of a description here, I can just highlight a word in the middle of the paragraph and have that be the link by itself. In this case, I'm just going to highlight this word, click add link and make this, so now I have that link. I can upload media right into this field just by dragging and dropping into the field itself or by just clicking the upload file button. The number of images or documents that you can append or attach to your tags really depends on the plan that you are subscribed to. So the higher tier plan that you have, the more capacity your plan has to attach more or larger files to your tags. Keep in mind, of course, once you have archived this model, anything that you have embedded or attached to a tag no longer counts against your plan's maximum capacity. I can link a single video, whether it's a video in YouTube or Vimeo or many other streaming services, I can just link to it right here. I can only link to a single video, however. If I'm going to drag and drop a video file like an MP4 into my media attachment, it won't be played through the tag itself, the way embedded content is played, but my visitors will be able to download that MP4 the same way they'll be able to download a PDF or any number of other assets that I can append to this tag. I can come down here, choose any number of icons that I want, change the color over here, change my stem height, and whether or not the stem itself, that's this little white line right here, is even visible. So I can make that invisible. And now it just looks like I have a tag floating up here by the sign instead of it being anchored to the floor below. Finally, I can add up to 10 keywords associated with this tag, making it easier for my visitors to search for different tags. I'll give you an example. If I have tags identifying emergency exits or fire extinguishers and things of that nature, I can associate them with keywords, making it easier for my visitors to isolate those tags, just quickly search for fire extinguishers or emergency exits and find just the tags that are associated with those keywords. I'll hit save down here. And now my tag has been saved to layer one. Of course, if I did make a mistake about which layer this tag is associated with, I can always move it or even copy it to a different layer. But I talk more about that in the views and layers video. I can also choose to hide this tag using this little eyeball icon, which basically just eliminates this tag for the time being without actually deleting it completely. So I can always come back and unhide it later on. And if I just tap this menu button right here, I can go into edit and edit anything that I've previously saved. You'll also notice that I have this reorder button and this has to do with the order in which tags are presented when visitors use tag navigation. So let me give you an example. Let me go into a blank view and I have stairs, stair, let me edit these. So now I've got a few different tags created in my view and I wanna make sure that visitors coming to my digital twin have an optimal navigation experience. And if they do choose to use the tag navigation option, they'll move between those tags in the order that I choose. So let's look at this, I'll press the reorder. So now I want them to start at stairs one, move to stairs two, then stairs three. And in fact, entrance should be the first one up here. Okay, that looks good, hit done. So in the preview mode, I'll just click on any one of these tags They'll come up here on the side, and now I want to navigate between the tags, so I'll move to the next tag. You can see now it says stairs two, stairs three, and back to the sign tag, which is the first tag in my order. You can see up here it says one of four, which is exactly how I designed it and intended my visitors to navigate through the tags.